Yeah, I'm really excited. I mean, I've, I've been away a little while now and, um, you know, finally back on Australian shores and I'm um, just excited to play some cricket. Um, had a great experience over in the UAE and I didn't, I didn't play much, so I'm really excited to get, get with the Hurricanes boys and, uh, and, and play some cricket. I, haven't, uh, I think I'll meet up with them tomorrow or, or Wednesday in, in Melbourne, but yeah, really excited. Yeah, well, I was really lucky. I mean, the squad um, and the coaching staff that we had and, 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 and my experience in the IPL meant, you know, I got to sort of rub shoulders with the, the biggest and the best players around the world. So, um, yeah, just the training side of things and, and, and more things around the, the execution and the thought process in T20 cricket is probably the, the biggest thing I sort of took from my experience and I'm um, hoping to try and, uh, you know, emulate the success that the, the, the big boys had over there. Yeah, it was unreal. Unreal, yeah. So uh, surreal, surreal to be a part of, and um, you know, got to be up on the stage when we got, we got to lift the trophy, and you know, it's something that I'll never forget. So awesome. Oh man, I hope so. It'd be nice. Um, it's not something you sort of walk out trying to achieve, but when it happens, it's obviously great. And um, again, it's one of those things that, looking back now, it doesn't like feel real to be honest. But yeah, so great, and uh, again, one of the things I'll never forget. And um, yeah, hopefully try and continue that. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we um, play the Sixes in Launceston in Tassie. Um, you know, so on our turf. So hopefully we can start start with a win, one from one. I think we did the same thing last year. So hopefully we can do that again. Yeah, so it's sort of, it's it's ever changing at the moment. We we're supposed to come here um, and then go to Coffs Harbour to play some practice games against the Heat, but with the rain, it's all been it's all been cancelled. Um, so yeah, late change Friday night. We're going to Melbourne now and then back to Sydney, and we fly with the Sixers to Lonnie to play. And yeah, it's a logistical nightmare. So I'm glad I'm not the one organising it. Yeah, I mean it's you know it's it's not ideal when you when you don't know um, where you're going to be or what time or all that sort of stuff. But you know it's been it's been over a year now of, of dealing with that sort of stuff. So it's it's sort of just rolling with the punches and it almost feels like the norm. Um, sort of sounds a bit lazy, but you sort of just wake up and get told where to go and where to be and um, sort of prepare for that to change as well. So it's it's the new norm, I think. Oh yeah. I don't, I don't want to be anywhere near him at the moment. He wouldn't stop talking about the semi-final. But, um, yeah, no, really excited. He, he's on top of the world at the moment, and rightfully so. He's, he's uh, you know, a great player, and he's done a lot for, for both Tassie and, and, and Australia. And, um, you know, he's, he's hitting the ball better than, anyone, better than anyone at the moment. So hopefully he brings that form that he had for Australia back to the Hurricanes, and no doubt he will. I think he's nursing a little injury at the moment that um, he sustained in, in training before the final, and he was tough and got on with it and, and played the final so um, but yeah I'm hoping you'll bring some of that form back um, to the Hurricanes <laughs> well why wouldn't you if I did it I'd do the same so um, yeah he's a, he's a great asset for us so I'm um, hoping we get in for a lot of games this year I think he's got a lot of cricket left in him um, He's sort of just an ever-evolving player. He sort of just gets better and better. Um, so, you know, I highly doubt it would be his last game. He's 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 unreally won us won us the game in the semi-final, and um, yeah. So, I can't see that. I can't see it being his last game. And um, yeah, if it is, what a way to go out. <laughs> and the next World Cup here in Australia. Um, is that is that a goal for you? Is that something that you want to be that's you want to be participating in? Absolutely. I mean. I didn't. I fully did not expect to be on the Australian tour with, in the Caribbean and, and Bangladesh, and and then to get the call up for the World Cup as the travelling reserve was was um, yeah one of probably my greatest achievements. So um, whilst I fully didn't um, expect that to happen, I've, I've sort of been close now, and you know so close, but I, I wasn't there for the World Cup. So it's like um, yeah, it's made me want it um, even more. So I'm really excited to you know try and do the best I can in the Big Bash and and, and throw my hat in the ring um, for next year.